this homework exercise where we've determined the infinite limit. Now, the way we do this problem is essentially plotting points. And now let's just notice that if we put in x equals zero, x is approaching zero, we get zero minus two divided by zero, which is negative two over zero, which is undefined. But so, so I, I, mean, I saw that coming anyway. But the thing that happens is when you have something um, where you have a form, I would call that a form. I'm not saying that's a number, but when you have a, a form where you have something that's not equal to zero divided by zero, that tells us that we're going to get an infinite limit, right? Is there any possible that you won't? It's going to, that's going to lead to an infinite limit. So this form leads to an infinite limit. Maybe lead is not the right verb, but it, it gives us an infinite limit. And as opposed to zero divided by zero, zero divided by zero, you possibly will, in, in most of the homework problems, will give you a, home, uh, a limit that's, that's, not, that's not an infinite limit. Now, all we're going to do is plot points essentially. And I want to be just a little careful when I plot points to just uh, be careful that I'm getting numbers, I'm, I'm using numbers close to zero that are to the right of zero. So it's the right of zero. That's what that little plus thing next to zero is. It's not positive zero. Zero is neither positive or negative. It means that we're coming from the right of zero. Okay. And so um, one way that you can sort of, I think is fine to do is, is uh, let me just take a highlighter and do it this way, is I can look at the numerator and I say, ah, well, it's a polynomial can I just find the limit by directly substituting? I, that's what we have. We have a, a little theorem that says I can directly substitute. And if I directly substitute x equals zero, I get that this is the limit of the numerator is negative two. On the other hand, the denominator has limit zero. So again, that leads to that uh, zero over zero form. Um, but it's not just approaching zero. It's It's a approaching zero so that it's a small positive. And if I plot points, actually, I don't feel like I need to now. I think I already have the answer. If I plot points, I want to pick a number very close to zero. Well, I don't know. It depends on how close you feel like you need to have that. And if I do that, look what happens. The numerator is about negative two. It doesn't, I'm not gonna, I'm not really looking to see exact. I just want to see about negative two while the denominator is, is I'm plugging in negative, I'm plug, plug, plugging in 0 0.01. So I get negative 200. This is a big negative. And look what I have above here where I'm drawing these arrows. I have X is approaching zero and it's not, it's getting close to zero. It's not equal zero. It's getting close to zero and it's a positive while the numerator is negative. That's important that the, the, the denominator is, is positive, but the numerator is negative. And I, because of the form of where it comes out to be negative two divided by zero, it's a form, that's an undefined number, or I mean, it's undefined, it's not a number. So. Uh, because of that, I think it's, I know it's going to be infinity. The only question really was, is it positive infinity or negative infinity? Well, because it's a negative divided by positive, it's, it's positive infinity. And, and really, I mean, the directions even tell us it's an infinite limit. So a lot of it was just, hey, is it, is it positive or negative? And I'm, I plugged in a number, 0 0.01. I didn't do it exactly. But actually, if I wanted to, it wouldn't really take much work. I sort of was just, in a way, just making a point that you don't have to be exact. You can just do an estimate if you want, but that's an easy one to calculate in itself then. And you might say, well, that's, someone might say, well, that's not that big of a number, but I then can get closer and convince myself that it can be bigger um, 
by just taking x still positive and close to zero. And you can, you can start seeing a pattern. And so that's negative 1,000, no, yeah, negative 1,999. That's even a bigger negative. So you just get closer and closer to, to, um, to zero and you'll get a larger negative number. So um, this, this is our answer right here. Are there any questions that you have? Do you have any questions? Okay, we'll just stop the video then.